This is lesson 5-7, graphing linear inequalities. So some review vocabulary. Inequality is any mathematical statement that two quantities or variables are not equal to each other. Instead of having one solution like we do in an equation, an inequality has a solution set. And that's all the values where the inequality is proven to be true. When you're graphing an inequality statement, the shaded portion of your graph becomes the solution set. We'll talk about shading as we move on further. Here's your procedure for graphing inequality. First, put the inequality into slope-intercept form, except it will not have an equal sign. Remember to keep in mind that anytime you're dividing by a negative number with inequalities, you must switch the direction of the sign. It also goes for if you're multiplying. Typically in this form, you'll only be dividing. Step two, as always when we're graphing, is to put the slope into fraction form. Step three is to plot the points using our slope-intercept method from lesson 5-3. Next, determine your line that you want to draw. If your inequality sign has a bar underneath it, you want to make the line a solid line, just as I'm demonstrating here. If the sign does not have a bar underneath it, make it a dashed line, as I'm demonstrating here. Next, you'll want to shade the graph. If your inequality sign is a greater than or a greater than or equal to sign, you will shade up. Inequality sign is a less than or less than or equal to, to sign, you will shade down. Keep in mind, you always want to look at where Y is on the graph. And I'll show you what I mean by that as we do some examples. Here's an example. We have Y greater than or equal to 5. I'll do this as a guided example. Now, this would qualify as one of our strange lines because it's y, not necessarily equal this time, but it's y sine number. This is going to be a strange line. It's going to be a horizontal line. So I'm going to find y equal to 5 on the y-axis. This line, because we have a bar underneath our inequality sign right there as I put the arrow, we have the bar, so it's going to be a solid line all the way across with arrowheads. And it's greater than it's greater than five. So where is y going up? Obviously, as we move up. So I'm going to shade this portion of the graph. Now, you can use lines, you can color it in, you can do whatever you wish so that you are labeling the solution set. Make sure that you have a label of the line that you just drew. Y is greater than or equal to 5. Here's a second example for you to try. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to try it on your own. The first thing we want to do is divide both sides by negative 5 in order to get it into slope-intercept form. Remember that this negative 5 now applies to both the 10 and the negative 25. So we have y, and we have a sign switch since we divided by a negative number. y is now less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. That gives me a slope of negative 2 over 1 with a beginning point of 5. So on my graph, I'll go to the y-axis and plot my first point at 5. And I'll be moving down 2 and over 1 all the way through the graph. At this point, I'll take my straight edge. I have this particular sign here, so it has a bar underneath. So it will be a solid line all the way throughout.
And now I need to shade down because it's less than or equal to. So I'm looking at this graph and I'm saying, where is the down arrow for Y? Which side of the line has the down arrow? This side, the left side, has the down arrow. As you can see, I just circled it on the bottom. That's where I want to shade my line. And of course, writing our original function, which is negative 5y, is greater than or equal to 10x minus 25 on the graph. Here's an example of working backwards. Let's find the inequality that is graphed to the right. So, the first thing I want to do is put my y. We know that we're going to have y, and we know that we have to have an inequality sign. Pause the video at this point to see if you can figure out the inequality. So at this point, I can see I have a dashed line, so it's a sign that does not have a bar underneath it. And I'm shading towards the up arrow on the Y. So that's going to be Y is greater than. Now I need to look for my slope, and I need to look for my Y intercept. My Y intercept is right there at 2, so I know it's going to be plus 2 on the end. Now I need to figure out my slope. And looking at this, Here's another point on that dashed line. And remember that slope is the change in y over the change in x. So I changed up 1 in the y direction, so that's a 1, and to the right 2, which is positive 2, in the x direction. So that's a positive 2. So my slope is 1 half. I simply just put a 1 half x in front of the positive 2. And lastly, let's determine whether this ordered pair is a solution of the inequality. Remember, all ordered points are x and y. Pause the video at this point to see if you can figure out how to do this on your own. So simply all I want to do is plug in y and x. I'll plug in 4 for y and negative 2 for x. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 minus 2. And negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. 8 is greater than negative 8. So yes, this point is in the solution of the inequality. If you're having any issues in any portion of this lesson, please make sure you email me or consult me in class.